What if we told you that Alzheimer's disease may be linked to an energy crisis in the brain? Yes, you heard it right. Alzheimer's, a neurological disorder, might be tied to a power failure of sorts in our brain. The brain, as we know, is an energy-hungry organ, accounting for a whopping 20% of our body's total energy consumption. And the primary source of this energy is glucose, metabolized in our cell's power plants, the mitochondria. Often dubbed as the powerhouse of the cell, mitochondria are organelles that play a critical role in energy provision throughout the body and particularly in the brain. A staggering 95% of the brain's energy comes from the metabolism of glucose in these mitochondria. But here's the catch. It's been long established that an impairment of glucose metabolism is one of the early signs of Alzheimer's disease. This impairment stems from a dysfunctioning of the mitochondria, typically induced by aging and the accumulation of a protein called amyloid beta. Now, let's dive a bit deeper into the mitochondrial processes. Within the inner mitochondrial membrane, a series of reactions known as the respiratory chain forms a type of energy, adenosine triphosphate or ATP. This process involves over a thousand proteins that are transported from the cell nuclei to the mitochondria. One such protein is ND5, a critical subunit of complex one of the respiratory chain. Any mutations in this gene can lead to severe mitochondrial disorders. The synthesis of ND5 is dependent on mRNA, which carries the genetic information and together with tRNA, is responsible for its translation into proteins. But what happens when mRNA undergoes a process called methylation? Well, this modification leads to a chemical structure change, disrupting its interaction with tRNA, and thus undermining the synthesis process. The result? Fewer ND5 proteins, which are of central importance to complex I, are formed. So we see a clear link between mitochondrial dysfunction, impaired glucose metabolism, and Alzheimer's disease. Now, the question arises, what causes the mitochondria to dysfunction in the first place? Enter RNA modification, a process previously overlooked in our understanding of Alzheimer's disease. You see, our cells are not just simple units of life. They are intricate factories of proteins, the workhorses of our bodies, and within each cell, the mitochondria, often heralded as the powerhouse of the cell, play a fundamental role in energy production, especially in the brain. Now, imagine a crucial cog in this cellular machine, a protein called ND5. This little guy is a subunit of complex Y of the respiratory chain, a sequence of reactions within the mitochondria that results in the formation of adenosine triphosphate, our body's primary energy currency. Without ND5, this whole process is compromised. But how is ND5 made? It all starts with a molecule called mRNA, which carries the genetic blueprint for the synthesis of ND5. But this is where things get tricky and where RNA modification enters the scene. RNA modification, specifically methylation, is like a monkey wrench thrown into the machinery of protein synthesis. In this process, the mRNA molecule undergoes a chemical change altering its structure and preventing it from correctly interacting with another molecule called tRNA, which is responsible for translating the genetic information into the actual ND5 protein. The result? The synthesis of ND5 is undermined. Fewer proteins are formed, hamstringing the respiratory chain and leading to mitochondrial dysfunction. This, in turn, results in a reduced supply of energy to the brain a condition eerily familiar to those studying the early stages of Alzheimer's disease. So RNA modification, specifically methylation, is a bit like a saboteur, sneaking into our cellular factories and disrupting the production line, leading to a cascade of energy shortage and functional disorder within our brain cells. But what triggers this harmful RNA modification? Meet TRMT10C, the enzyme that could be behind the energy crisis in Alzheimer's patients' brains. This enzyme plays a pivotal role in a complex biochemical process that impacts the function of our brain cells. Let's break it down. In the intricate world of cellular biology, TRMT10C is responsible for a process called methylation. 
This process alters the structure of mRNA, a molecule that carries genetic information and plays a vital role in the translation of that information into proteins. One particular protein affected is ND5, a key player in the respiratory chain, the process that generates the all-important energy molecule, ATP. When TRMT10C gets involved, it induces methylation of the mRNA that carries the instructions for creating ND5. This methylation changes the mRNA's chemical structure, preventing it from correctly interacting with tRNA, another crucial molecule in the protein synthesis process. The end result, the synthesis process is thwarted and fewer ND5 proteins are formed. Now, you might be wondering why this is important. Well, ND5 is a subunit of complex one of the respiratory chain, a chain of reactions that forms ATP, the cell's main source of energy. Without enough ND5, the respiratory chain can't function optimally, resulting in a dip in ATP production. This leads to an energy crisis in the mitochondria, the powerhouses of our cells, and particularly in the brain, which relies heavily on this energy. So how does this link to Alzheimer's disease? Researchers at Johannes Gutenberg University Mainz and their colleagues have shown that the suppression of ND5 biosynthesis triggered by TRMT10C occurs not only in cell models but also in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. This discovery provides a crucial piece in the puzzle of understanding the pathophysiology of Alzheimer's disease. So, we've traced back the steps to the root of the energy crisis in Alzheimer's. But what does this mean for our battle against the disease? The discovery of this RNA modification mechanism opens a new avenue in our understanding of Alzheimer's disease. This groundbreaking research by Johannes Gutenberg University Mainz has shed light on a previously unknown factor contributing to mitochondrial dysfunction in Alzheimer's patients, a key aspect of the disease that disrupts energy supply to the brain. This revelation is monumental, as it not only deepens our comprehension of the disease's pathophysiology, but it also paves the way for potential new treatment strategies targeting this RNA modification. Imagine a future where we can rectify this mitochondrial dysfunction, restoring the brain's energy supply and slowing down, or even halting the progression of Alzheimer's. However, we must not rest on these laurels. Further research is critical to fully understand this mechanism and to explore its therapeutic potential. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Alzheimer's, we edge closer to a future where we can effectively combat this debilitating disease.